Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. You are watching What's Next. Once again, Tesla breaking the internet. And here we are, is an example of Tesla with their new Smart Summit that they've released. Yes, they have, have had Smart Summit before, but this is a more updated version where it is basically much more capable of navigating parking lots. Because when it comes to driving, parking lots are basically the place that could be the most chaotic. I know a lot of people may not think that. They would think that driving on the street or on the highway. But actually, parking lots is where randomly a child may walk by, a car might back up, or a car might run into you, a shopping cart. There's just a lot more things that can happen, in, even if you're going five miles per hour. But basically, Tesla is just getting much better at their software component. And a lot of people would like to disagree and say, oh, other cars can do this too. But the difference is Tesla, they're doing it when much cheaper compared to Waymo and Cruise, which actually use LiDAR, which is very, very expensive equipment. And each of the cars that they're using would cost anywhere from over $170,000. And it's not even collecting data. Unlike the Teslas, any Tesla car is less than $100,000 besides the Cybertruck. And they are collecting data and they are doing it with a lot less crap on top of the car. They're not using LiDAR, which is a very expensive equipment, what they put on top of the car that runs around and only knows things by memory. If LiDAR is different, basically LiDAR memorizes an area. They have to have people on board who are typing in all this stuff and coding. And if anything were to change in the area, the car will shut down. Like if a tree just happened to be blocking a lane, the car would probably turn off and pull over to the side because it doesn't it didn't memorize or encounter a fact that a tree might be on the ground. Unlike Tesla, they're doing a different approach, which is basically a generalized approach, which a human would be like if a human sees there's a tree blocking a road <clears throat> or blocking a lane in the road. Simply, the car would just go around it just like a human would. The difference is, is that Waymo, these things do not recognize that, oh, something is different. It just turns off or pulls over and starts putting on the hazard lights. That is not a general solution. And it's much more expensive to run the Waymo or Cruise cars. Tesla is doing it at a much cheaper price, and they're getting much better at it. Not only that, they're going to be releasing full self-driving soon in the United Kingdom and in China. They are waiting for regulatory approval. And it seems like things are working in that way. Yes, of course, fully autonomous, being able to be fully autonomous, level four, probably is going to take some more time, maybe the next 18 to 24 months. But regardless of when it happens, Tesla will be the first one to fall to fully solve self-driving. They are the closest. They have the most data compared to other car companies. They just have miles driven, real miles driven collected. That's not the same as collecting data. Tesla is actually collecting data on the streets and understanding and learning how to drive better and better, just like a human would, differently from trying to use LiDAR, which is a whole other system. But anyway, this is getting much more impressive. A lot of people will disagree, but that's totally fine. But I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm going to continue to purchase more Tesla stock because full self-driving is going to be outrageous and a great wealth gainer, but nothing compared to the humanoid robots. But that's for another video. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tune in again. I'll catch you guys next time posting more information about Tesla, what's going on with big tech, the car market, and all sorts of things. Catch you guys next time. Peace.